Docker is a popular tool for containerizing applications and making them portable across different systems. Docker allows you to package an application and its dependencies into a single container, making it easy to deploy and run the application on different environments. When using Docker, you might come across two concepts, Docker volume versus mount. While both can be used to share data between the host machine and a container, they work differently and have different use cases. Docker volumes are a type of data storage provided by Docker. A volume is a directory on the host machine that is accessible to a container. When you use a Docker volume, the data inside it is not stored in the container's file system, but instead it is stored in the host machine's file system. This means that data in a volume persists even if the container is deleted or recreated. Volumes are a good option for persisting data across different containers. For example, if you have a container that writes logs or a database that needs to store data, you can use volumes to store the data outside of the container. This way, you can destroy and recreate the container without losing data. Here's an example of using a volume with Docker. In this example, my slash volume is a directory on the host machine that'll be mounted as app slash data inside the container. Any data written to app slash data inside the container will be stored in my slash volume on the host machine. Docker mounts are another way to share data between the host machine and a container. When you use a Docker mount, you specify a file or directory on the host machine that should be mounted as a directory inside the container. Unlike Docker volumes, the data inside a mount is not stored outside the container. If you delete the container, the data in the mount will be lost. However, mounts are useful when you need to share code or configuration files between the host machine and a container during development or testing. Here's an example of using a mount with Docker. In this example, path slash on slash host is a directory on the host machine that will be mounted as app slash code inside the container. Any changes made to the files in path slash on slash host will be immediately reflected inside the container. Now that you know the differences between Docker volumes and mounts, let's look at some common use cases for each. Use cases for Docker volumes include storing application data that needs to persist even if the container is destroyed or recreated sharing data between different containers, and backing up data. Use cases for Docker mounts include developing and testing applications locally, sharing code or configuration files between the host machine and a container, and debugging applications by accessing log files or other debugging information from the container. If you're struggling with Docker errors, check out my Pluralsight course, Tactics and Tools for Troubleshooting Docker. This course provides developers with the skills they need to troubleshoot and fix the most common Docker errors. By the end of this course, you will have the skills that you need to reduce the time it takes you to assess and fix issues. Visit hofstech.com slash troubleshooting Docker to get started with a free trial today. What questions do you have about Docker? Let me know in the comments and please be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.